Hey you guys, it's EG, and this video is a little bit different. I've done all my videos with pause up to this point, but this, I just couldn't, I couldn't do it. Like the buttons are too small and it just like didn't really work, so. I also wouldn't do this sort of like sounds assortment video with an object like this. But I've had this Microsoft Sidewinder joystick from the 90s or something. And I used one of these when I was a kid. I was really big into uh, flight simulators and stuff and I had one just like it. And I, I've always had this idea that I was going to, like, do it again, get back into it or something, but not only am I not very interested in flight simulators anymore, but I'd need, like, an old-style sound card, and eh, it's just not something I'm going to be doing anytime soon. But it's one of those, like, ABS plastic things from the late 90s, early 2000s, and it makes really cool sounds. So I'm just going to kind of poke and prod at this and try to keep the camera focused on it, because this is probably going to wind up being re-gifted or something. But yeah, I think from here it's going to be mostly just talking. Or no, it's going to be mostly not talking. So let me point the microphone at the joystick instead of me. There we go, now we kind of have the best of both worlds. You can still kind of hear me, but you can see and hear the joystick. The camera perspective is a little weird because this is actually like really tall. If I like, if you can see my hand, then it, it's like big. These joysticks were always kind of bigger than you might expect. And then desks at the time were also a lot smaller than they are today, so... Let's see about unwinding this. There we go. This cord is kind of a kind of a grayish almost blue. I had a few other Microsoft controllers as a kid and they were always the same. Like they also feel different. It's like velvety. This is pretty dusty. See the pins. Some of them, well, I guess they're casted. Those used to be, uh, well, not that they used to be, but on some controllers, there'd be screws that you could uh, fasten to the sound card. This has how many buttons? Let's see. One, two, three. 
This is a button, but I think it's an accelerator like shift. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then of course you've got your throttle. something that a lot of these really cool fancy flight sticks did so there's a rudder I always found the rudder pointless because it didn't move enough and it was hard to do without like moving the whole stick so I usually had the rudder bound to one of these. Well, like, this would be left, this would be right. Or just on the keyboard. It was easier to manage that way. And then at the top, there's this thing called a hat. It's hard to get it to focus on it. But also, the lighting kind of sucks. There you go. Most games use this to like, so you could look around in a cockpit or something, but just kind of. Usually the software registered this as independent, like buttons, so this would be button one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this little thing gave you eight extra buttons is cool. Like maybe if you're selecting different weapons or something. One game that I played a lot with controllers like this was Mech Warrior. I was really big into Mech Warrior 2 and Mech Warrior 2 Mercenaries. And that was a game where you could actually use the rudder pretty effectively because you know you'd this would be your throttle that your mech would move at. So you you jack this up so you're going pretty fast, but you're moving like in a specific direction, and but you've got somebody over there. So you just like use the rudder and it, it turns the mech's torso. So you can aim and fire but maintain trajectory in, in one direction. There is another game that's similar to mech warrior called heavy gear and i i think that i probably played that more than than mech warrior and in heavy gear you could switch on this mode that made your gear go like really fast and that's when like the rudder and stuff was kind of critical because of how fast you're going sound that big plastic pieces like this make is this cool torsion sound where you just you just grasp it and you just like squeeze it it has this little I have no idea what that's for I guess you could say I'm like trying to break the thing it's really sturdy like I don't, this is a pretty old flight stick thing, and I don't feel it like, it doesn't feel like it's going to break at all. It's really solid. And the 
the stick. It's like, it's really solid. It's not floppy at all. Also have to think that like a lot of people have probably used this thing and it's still going strong it's kind of dirty though actually it looks like maybe just fiddling around with it caused some dust and other stuff to come out from there but hopefully you can't see it as well as I can like this touching plastic taken a lot of dexterity because this is actually like really far in front of me and I'm having to like lean over the camera and the microphone to do this I guess I could bring it a little bit closer but then the you can't see it but the microphone stand is like right here basically so I don't have a lot of room to move around here visit of the Microsoft Sidewinder Precision Pro. Did I forget to actually say the name of the darn thing? That's what it is with all this like fur. I wonder where that fur came from. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Sidewinder Precision Pro. I'm pretty sure they made another version of this with force feedback. This one does not have force feedback. Force feedback is just like basically when the controller like kicks around if you get hit or something. The games need to support it and a lot of them didn't or a lot of them were just like really half-assed. And it also like if you're if you're playing to win it just kind of gets in the way to be honest. So force feedback was kind of a novelty. But honestly, it's a pretty good controller. I wish that you could see more of it while I was holding on to it. Like if I lift it up, see so you now it's cut off. I guess the camera could be higher and looking down, but I'm not very good at this stuff. This is as good as it gets. <laughs> but yeah, good little gamepad, good little flight stick. Thingy. Uh, I, I don't know if I mentioned at the beginning I didn't this isn't the one I had when I was a kid I saw this in a Goodwill in a, in a box actually I should have kept the I don't even know where the box is that would have been good for the video honestly taking it out of the box I don't know why I didn't think of that 
but this isn't the one I had. That, that one's long gone. I just saw this and thought it would be cool to eventually try to try to play with it, but after having it for a few years now, I've realized that's not going to happen, so I might as well try to like do something with it before sending it back to be re-gifted, re-homed, whatever. But yeah, I think that's it. 